Two days after the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, or ASEAN, agreed to downgrade Myanmar's presence at a leader summit later this month, coup leader Min Ong Hlaing struck a defiant tone. After the statement was announced in April, more violence happened due to the provocations of terrorist groups CRPH and the National Unity Government and involvement of ethnic armed organisations. We are still solving that. No one cares to stop their violence and killings and are only demanding that we solve the issue. ASEAN should work on that. ASEAN has faced increasing pressure to take a tougher stand against Myanmar. In a hastily convened virtual meeting last Friday, foreign ministers in the region agreed to invite a non-political figure from Myanmar instead to the meeting. Brunei, which hosts this year's ASEAN meetings, cited a lack of progress on a peace plan that Myanmar had agreed to during an emergency summit in Jakarta in April. But one analyst says ASEAN's decision to sideline Myanmar's military ruler may not have much impact. ASEAN's got some hard thinking to do about uh, what next steps to, to take. But I do think that a lot of other countries around the world, the United Nations and other leaders, have to figure out a way to actively help ASEAN through this um, and to find other points of, of, um, of, of putting pressure on the State Administration Council. Unfortunately, there's not many points of pressure that you can do. I think the military is really hunkering down and becoming more defiant, not more cooperative. February's coup plunged Myanmar into turmoil. More than 1,100 people have been killed, and activists say security forces are still conducting raids and arresting people across the country. More than 7,000 people are still being detained. Min Ong Hleng, in his speech on Monday, also agreed to release more than 5,600 people arrested for their roles in anti-coup protests. But rights group, Assistance Association for Political Prisoners, has criticized the amnesty as a form of distraction for foreign governments. It says if the military junta was sincere about the peace process, it would release all deposed civilian leaders, including Aung San Suu Kyi and other political prisoners, without conditions immediately. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera.